Shalom, shalom, it's your brother here, Yakani. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakak Wadash, Barak I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth. And salutation out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. And to you, I want to say shalom. Today's lesson is going to be about how Israel, two thirds of our people, you so called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, have rejected knowledge. And because you have rejected that knowledge, the Lord's going to reject you in these days to come where all hell is breaking loose. All right, in the day of Jacob's troubles, is spoken about in Jeremiah 30 and 7. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. So it says, well, this is why the so-called black Latino Native Americans are being taken advantage of, are being manipulated, are, are able to be deceived because they 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 uh they are destroyed for lack thereof of knowledge. All right, wisdom of this world is foolishness. All right, we can bring that out real quick. One Corinthians three and nineteen: For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with Yahweh. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Okay? So the wisdom of this world, meaning what you learn from this society, what Esau, the so-called white man, teaches you in his Eurocentric educated classrooms is bullshit. All right? It's fabricated lies. It's not the truth. All right? Uh, his, in his college courses, all right? Your, your, your little degree from Harvard or Yale, it, it doesn't amount to nothing. Because when you look into the word degree, it means to downgrade. All right? You're not actually getting smarter or wiser. All right, you look at all the people who got these high level degrees and all these guys that have these uh, masters and doctorate degrees. All right, they're, they're not any really more smarter than the next person. All right, all they do is flash around a piece of paper as if they are smarter, but they're still stuck in the same boat. They're still in, 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 um, in debt hundreds of thousands of dollars. Okay, they're still working a nine to five, struggling paycheck to paycheck. Okay, they're still spending more time at, at their job than they do spending more time with their kids. Okay, everybody's in the same boat, all right, just different titles with it, all right, so the knowledge of this world is all foolishness anyway, man, especially with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, especially compared to the scriptures, okay, the, this, the real knowledge, like the scriptures say, the wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, all right, what wisdom and knowledge, the wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures, okay, not the wisdom and knowledge of this world, which is bullshit, which is vanity, which is vain, okay, it says, because thou has rejected knowledge. We're telling our people the truth. Okay, we out there in the highways and byways. Okay, goddamn every goddamn week. Sometimes two, three, four, five times a goddamn day, man. A week. Okay, for hours and two, three hours a day. Okay, out there in the cold, 10 degrees, windy, rain, snow, 110 degrees, 100 degrees. It don't matter, man. We are out there. All right, brothers are upon the all, upon the globe, man. Four corners of the earth, okay. And, and, and Israel walks by as if it's nothing, man. That's them rejecting that knowledge, as if they got somewhere better to be, as if they got some some better knowledge somewhere, if they got something better to learn about than than their culture, than their history, than than their Lord. All right, but the Lord said, okay, since you rejected that knowledge, I will also reject thee. So when, when it's time of, of calamity. Because the scriptures speak about the times that has never been before. Okay, Jacob's trouble. Why do you think it's called Jacob's trouble? Because Jacob, you Israelites, are going to be in trouble, man. Esau is going to come down with great wrath. As spoken about in Revelations 12, 12. All right, sparing none. All right, he's not going to have no pity for your kids. Not no pity for you. All right, not no pity for your woman. All right, not no pity for your wife. Okay? But uh, the ones that the Lord would not reject are his men. All right, his elect. The ones that didn't reject that knowledge. The ones that seek this knowledge every day, that's spoken about, the daily bread, the living waters, okay, that, that, that seek Yahweh by Shem Yahweh that seek repentance, okay, that hasn't forgotten the law, okay, because it's, it says, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, the, the people of this world, the, our people, two-thirds of our people, Israel, okay, have forgotten this law and have became accustomed to man's law, his enemy's laws, okay, following the laws of America, following the laws of this insane society but have forgotten the laws of the righteous of the righteous ways of living right which is the laws of the scriptures okay it doesn't the scripture say if you love me you'll follow my laws all right so these people don't follow the laws of the lord they follow the laws of man so that's who they love that is their power that is their god all right so the lord said i will also forget thy children so on the day of your calamity 
are you calling out? Hey, the Lord going just going 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 laugh at that, man. We can bring that out. Proverbs one, we'll start at twenty two. How long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity, and the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. All you fools hate knowledge, man. All right, first and foremost, you're a fool if you don't even believe in, in, in a higher power, man. All right? It says, he that says there's no God is a fool, man. All right? Then you people hate the actual knowledge that's going to actually upgrade you and level you up and renew your mind and bring you from the dead to back to life and bring you out of the darkness into the marvelous light. You people reject that knowledge. Turn ye at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. How is the Lord making his, his poor the spirit? Out? How is he making his words known unto you? By having his men out there on the highways and byways. I, I heard putting uh, 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 YouTube videos. I heard spreading information on social media. I got Odyssey channels out there on the highways and byways in the chief place of concourses in the streets. Okay? It, 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 we're everywhere, man. You, you, you can't not see something about the Israelites or not see nothing about this truth, man. Especially if you one of those people that's active on social media or YouTube or walking in a chief place of concourse in major cities. Because I have called and you refused, I've stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Okay, we are here stretching our uh, stretching uh, this word out. The Lord is stretching his hand out by the way of his men. Okay, his mouthpiece. Okay. And you people have not regarded, you refuse, you walk by, you scoff, you laugh, you, you mock as if the day of trouble isn't coming, as if the day of judgment isn't coming. But you have said it not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. OK, I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when you fear cometh. So the Lord said he's going to laugh at your calamity because you refuse his knowledge. You rejected his knowledge. Hey, now, OK, you, you, you don't set yourself up now. OK, you don't mark yourself. So the Lord said, I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when you fear cometh. Okay? When your fear cometh as desolation, your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me. Everybody, when shit gets bad and everybody got a definite family and people's going through shit, what do they say? Oh, prayers up. Pray, pray, pray. All that bullshit. All right? But then when you're calling upon the Lord, when you're going through that distress and anguish and destruction, okay, the Lord said, I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Okay, so all you people crying out to Jesus, okay, to Yahuwah, okay, to all these bullshit false names. Hey, the Lord's going to uh, uh, not find you, man. Not call upon you. He's not going to answer you. He doesn't respect you. Okay, depart from me. I never knew you. Okay. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own doing. The Lord said you had a choice. You either chose the world, you chose this, and you made your choice. Okay, go, 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 cry after the gods that you worship, man. Okay? It says, therefore, shall they eat at the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices, leaning upon their own understanding, which is going to lead unto death. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from fear of evil. So then you got an opposite that are actually hearkening unto the Lord, that will dwell safety, that will be un under that strong tower, okay? And that will be from evil, and will be kept from pestilences, okay? And will be kept from the destruction to come, okay? And those are the ones that haven't rejected this knowledge. The ones that come into this knowledge and accept it, and teach it, and live it. Okay. Because Israel, man, Israel, Israel doesn't want nothing to do with the Lord. Our people don't want don't want nothing to do with Yahweh Bashem man. Alright, Psalms 8111. But my people would not hearken to my voice, and Israel, Israel would none of me. Basically saying, man, my, you know, Israel is a stiff neck, hardened, hardened people, man. But Israel don't want nothing to do with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. They rather worship these false uh, idols and, and these and these celebrities, okay, in the ways of this world over the prophets and this word and Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, because they too into this world, okay. Instead of being separated and renewed from this world and coming into the world of this knowledge, okay, they're into they're into a, a wicked world, man, a wicked way.
And our people, Proverbs 12 and 1, whoso loveth instruction, loveth knowledge, but he that hateth reproof is brutish. Okay, and our people hate the knowledge of the Lord, man. Our people hate to be rebuked, okay? Our people hate to be told that you're not supposed to be doing that. You're not supposed to be eating pork. You're not supposed to be committing adultery, okay? You're not supposed to be shaving your beard, okay? So on and so forth, man. But our people hate that, man. So we got, you know, a major, a major shifting, a major division coming real soon upon this world, man. And Yahweh Shai is coming to separate the righteous from the wicked, man. Oh, he, he, he's coming to separate, all right, man and father, woman and daughter, uh, mom and daughter. Okay, your own family's going to turn against you. Okay, we're already seeing it right now at a low level, but it's about to even get worse and worse and worse and worse as the time continues to go on. Stuff isn't going to get better. It's going to only get worse. Okay? In all aspects of life, man. Okay? What you once thought you were free, you will see that you were never free, man. And it was an illusion of freedom. And the only thing that will set you free is this truth. That's why scriptures say you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free, man. Okay? Yeah, we're still in captivity. Yeah, we're still under bondage and in in our, being oppressed by our enemies. But that, that what sets us free is knowing that. Is knowing that who our enemy is, is knowing this knowledge, is knowing who we are. All right, that sets us free from thinking that uh, we're some African American. We're, we're, our history only goes back to slavery. Okay, so on and so forth. Okay, this knowledge is the true key. All right, first and foremost to salvation. Okay, and freedom. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makak, Badash, Barakadam. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles to get millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth. And salutation out there to the hopeful elect, the buzzer that are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, I want to say, Shalom.